Child, I know the Kendrick Lamar and Drake diss tracks had y'all in a chokehold. But why were women collateral in this messy situation? Couldn't they have put it just between them? Well, a lot of people didn't appreciate how Kendrick and Drake were both implying that the worst thing that can happen to anyone is being like a woman. They insult each other for being effeminate, Drake dissing Kendrick for being short, and Kendrick calling Drake out for being girlish. But if there's one woman who's been the biggest collateral, it's Kendrick's fiance, Whitney Alford. I mean, the way her business has been laid out for everyone to scrutinize is insane, y'all. And allegedly, she's so mad that she could be considering taking legal action against Drake. Baby, let's just break down how she was unintentionally caught in the line of fire. For starters, when Drake was accusing Kendrick of being a hypocrite, he brought up Whitney by saying that Kendrick was the Black Messiah, wifing up a mixed queen, hitting Vanilla Cream to help out with his self-esteem. Remember, he had already attacked Lamar for questioning his his racial identity as a mixed race man and accused him of hypocrisy due to his choice of a partner. Well, Kendrick also got heat from followers who said that he had no business questioning Drake's blackness, while his childhood sweetheart and mother of his two children is just as questionable as Drake is. In fact, there were people saying that if anything, Drake actually looks more black than his wife does, cause his wife does not look black at all, according to them. Baby, Drake also got people discussing how Kendrick Lamar lied and said he loved dark-skinned women. Mean Meanwhile, he's been in a relationship with a biracial, light-skinned woman the whole time. I know Whitney never expected to be catching such strays, and as much as some people were going at Kendrick for being a hypocrite, y'all know that social media will always be social media. And there were others actually insulting Whitney in the process. But hold on, those weren't the only strays Whitney was receiving, cause Drake also suggested that Whitney had cheated on Kendrick with his bodyguard. And while Kendrick claimed this was a fake attempt to stir up controversy on Euphoria, that didn't stop some people from believing that his fiance may have cheated on him multiple times. And again, there were people going after her and calling her a cheater. Yo, can you imagine what must have been going through her head and the emotional and mental turmoil she is going through with all these strays? Okay, when it comes to infidelity, Kendrick himself has admitted to cheating on Whitney in his own music. I mean, on Mother Eye Sober from Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, he raps, intoxicated, there's a lustful nature that I failed to mention, insecurities that I project sleeping with other women. Whitney's hurt, the pure soul I know. I found her in the kitchen, asking God, where did I lose myself and can it be forgiven? But even though Kendrick alluded to cheating, what Drake was putting more energy on was Whitney cheating on Kendrick a few times. Other than that bodyguard line, he also alludes to Whitney cheating on him with his producer, Dave Free, and alleged that one of Lamar's children was fathered by Dave Free. OMG, messy, messy, messy. Honey, Drake also brought up Whitney on his diss track, Family Matters, where he was accusing Kendrick of DV with the bars, your baby mama captions always scream and save me. You did her dirty all your life. You trying to make peace. There's also a line where Drake goes like, Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I'll hit you back, it's a lot safer. I promise. What? I just can't, y'all. He also accuses Kendrick of hiring a crisis management team to clean up the fact that he puts his paws on Whitney. And he even hurls some sort of insult at Whitney in there when he says, when you put your hands on your girl, is it self-defense? Cause she bigger than you. Again, this only made the situation worse for Whitney because now there are people also starting to body shame her because of what Drake said. I mean, that part about Whitney being bigger was unnecessary, right? And you know what? Drake knew well enough that by going after Kendrick's fiance, people were going to go digging. And it didn't even take long before a post from Whitney resurfaced where she was discussing her mental health and going to therapy. In the post, she wrote, I was stuck in a time and place that was no longer my reality and was no longer serving me. My babies forced me to take a long look at myself and journey back through the very things that made me. I've always carried the light with me. As a child, no one was able to help me process. Many times, silence was enforced because my emotions were a lot to handle. Hiding my pain has been a technique I've mastered my entire life. Mask it with a smile and everything is good. Silence has been my superpower, protecting me in the most vulnerable spaces. Then I was referred to a great therapist. Well, there were other things she said in the post, and while some people said it had nothing to do with Kendrick, others said that she's been crying for help for ages. But to some people, it's the fact that she was dragged in this mess that's really annoying. And if any of the things Drake said were true, it's also unfair that they were exposed in that manner. To a lot of people, Drake dragging Whitney like that was just hitting below the belt. And it was really not necessary. And not to say that Kendrick is a saint, because there were also women who caught strays from his tracks against Drake. For instance, in his track Meet the Grams, Kendrick also accused Drake of harboring a secret daughter and of having a series of addictions to gambling, alcohol, 
alcohol, hard substances, intimate activities, and heavy spending. About the missing daughter, Drake responded with an Instagram story, immediately responding to the claims he had a hidden daughter by writing, Nah, hold on, can someone find my hidden daughter, please, and send her to me? These guys are in shambles. Later on, Drake also said that he hired someone to tell Kendrick that he had a hidden daughter, meaning that he was the one feeding Kendrick with false information about him. Kendrick also brought up the allegation that Drake is a PED, which is something that has been said a few times over the years, particularly with Millie Bobby Brown. For those who recall, when Drake and Millie first interacted, both of them shared Instagram posts about their meetup. At the time, Millie also shared another photo of her friendship with Drake six weeks later when they posed for a picture together at a Netflix party. And she captioned the picture, blessed to have my security be my plus one at the Netflix party. Then it got really weird at the 2018 Emmys where Millie talked about their bond and how they talked about boys. I love him. I met him in Australia and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely going to go and see him. I'm so excited, yeah. Then when she was asked what they talked about, this is what Millie said. Uh, about boys. He helps me. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's wonderful. I love what him. Also, do you all remember his weird relationship with Billie Eilish? But like Drake, come on. Drake? Drake is like the nicest dude I've ever spoken to. I mean, I've only like texted him, but he's so nice. Like, he does not need to be nice. You know what I mean? He's at a level in his life where he doesn't need to be nice, but he is, you know? There were also instances, like in one of Drake's performances, he was joined on stage at a Denver concert by a young woman. And after asking the crowd to make some noise for the fan, Drake proceeded to slow dance with her before commenting on the smell of her hair and kissing the back of her neck. He then wrapped his arms around her chest from behind. Then he said that he was getting carried away and said he would get in trouble for things like that. Well, he didn't stop either because he asked her how old she was, to which she replied she was 17. And Drake Drake responded by joking about going to jail and commented on the girl's body, which he called thick. Then he was like, I don't know if I should feel guilty or not, but I had fun. I like the way your breasts feel against my chest. Child, what? Okay, with Kendrick bringing all these things up, I have to admit that it does raise a bit of concern about if Drake really is a weirdo. And it doesn't help that Kendrick went on to claim that Drake's label OVO is a haven for offenders, saying that we gotta raise our daughters knowing that there are people like Drake lurking around. Again, just like like Whitney, these women didn't imagine they would be collateral. And the way some people keep twisting the narratives is just insane. Well, if the rumor mill is anything to go by, the reason why Whitney hasn't responded is because she intends to do that legally. And if she does, I really hope Drake has the receipts to back up his claims. Honestly, I really don't know how that would play out. But let me know what you think of Whitney being collateral and if she should pursue legal channels against Drake in the comments section below.